Hi guys, I just want to show you this new panel I got for my wind turbine. There you can see, she is a beast. I got it from an old church I rewired there a few weeks ago. Yeah. You can see all the controls, all fuses, it's a real old system like you can see the old old system. At least I got a few MCBs with it. and a few more there. And here is the old fusing. See the fuses are missing, but the nice, uh, it's a nice isolator switch here. That bad boy. Here's a snap of that. She's a right job. All the fuses there are into these, sorry, and all. It's a 40 amp. I'll try to focus on that. I see they're 40 amp, 500 volts. Perfect for a isolating switch for a three phase wind turbine. And you can have more down here, more connections here. I might use that for batteries or something like that. Here's another. All fuses again. All fuses again. Three, three fuse or three phase well, breaker again. And another three fuse breaker. Or three phase breaker, sorry. And then another one here. And all the breakers up here. This is a really old. I say it's just been upgraded over the years. There are nice connections there as well. So I got it for absolutely nothing. Just had to get it home in the back of my Jeep. You can see the size of it. She's a brand set up. So she opens up very well. So I can gut a lot of this out and just keep them doors and I might uh, switch the tree phase up there and have them in, in the enclosure up here. Just switch this up here or take off the door or oh, there's no hinges on it. I can't do that so yeah so I'll have to go up there. I've redundant in a lot of this so I'm just going to have what I can fit in here. So it's, a fine, it's a fine enclosure. I like this switched up. I do like that. I don't know what rating it is or anything. I'll have to open up and look at it. I never even opened it up. Not curl. That's a tree face though, so I assume it would be pretty high enough. No, nothing there. It says buzz bars, but. Or bus bars, I should say. There's nothing there. Um, that's really odd. A lot of equipment for nothing. Just gonna be wired all building. So we took this out, got it for nothing. So it's a fine bit, bit of stuff. Since so I can do all my battery connections, I'd say. I don't know if I use that. Or down here. We'll just have to see. That might be not a lot better for battery isolation. We'll have to see what the current of it is, what the current rating of it is. Um will I be going up to 48 volts and well I'll still have Sorry for that. I still have my 12 volt system and the 48 volt as well, so this, this might do it. So, uh, isolating the batteries, and as I said already, there for the wind turbines. So, I'm gonna have me a 3 kilowatt, I'm gonna have another 5 or a uh, 3 kilowatt at 48 volts, and I'm gonna have me I might get 12 volt off turbine 12 volt or whatever uh, kilowatt they have, I forget, and I might use that for some other, some other turbine. I don't know what I might use. Maybe I might use 24 or something. I don't know. At least I can set up three of them, three of them in a row anyway. And isolate each one of them. I might have meters down here. Say what's coming in, what's going out, and all that jazz, you know. And I have my grid ties as well. So I have a lot of room to work with here. So let's just update one and see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to show you my uh, my um, my tower. Actually, I measure it up. It's actually a 50 foot tower, and I thought it was 
a 12 foot or a 45 foot or an extra 5 foot for free. Yeah. Bring you outside. And with the bottom of it, it's split in two. And I got an American tape in the foot for you. Uh, is 20, just over 20 foot. That's this one here. Yep, it's 20 foot. I'll be checking it. We'll try to catch this out here. I know it's very windy. a bit there. Just 40 foot. And I was nearly say 48 foot nearly. There's a foot in this. Oh there, so 7 foot. Sorry, not used to feet. Um, there's 8 foot just where my hand is. So it's just shy of 48 foot. But soon when we put the turbine on it, I'm gonna have a foot or two. So it will be up. Where's foot? Nine foot. Where am I gone now? Sorry, unless I used to feet. Um it's nine foot there. So soon the turbine will appear somewhat about a foot off the top of that. So it's a nice little setup. Just this bar here, look. So I can rise it up and down if I want. And I'm going to uh, spray all this in Galvo spray. Have you heard of stop stuff rusting? I know it doesn't rust, but just for looks purposes, have a look in silver again. Looks very, uh, I'm going to power wash it and spray it all up again. And I had to cut the nuts off because it was too long to bring home in two different lengths. So that's it there now, guys. the foot base of it there. I'll give you some dimensions. Uh, sorry, it's just going to get shaky for a second. Uh, turn around. It is... What's that? 21 inches. Uh, across the shirt's going to be a triangle. It's going to be the same each way. So that's it. That's the base of it. I'm going to extend these feet See these feet here I'm going to extend them What's that say? 18 inches is it? 18 inches or 460 mil I'm going to extend them to about, about 3 foot or something And I was looking up online people are saying how to calculate the depth of the ground underneath it And it says 5 foot depth and it has to be so many inches out further here, I can't remember exactly, but remember the depth. Um, so I'm gonna go down about maybe six, seven foot. I'm gonna go overkill and depth. I'm gonna go about four, maybe four or five foot wide. These lengths here, like the concrete square will be four or five foot wide. So it's like way, way over what's needed. So. Hopefully it will stand any storm here that we do usually get. 80 mile an hour winds we do usually get in gusts. So some people think we don't get them. And I was proven, I proven that we did. So I'm not even going to bother talking about that much anymore. Well there you go anyway guys. She's in very good condition. Everything's square, there's no... I'll have to go over all the... See, Johnny. See, they said nuts. There are nuts, nuts are missing there. I cut them off at a grinder to split it in half. So I'm going to replace any ones that are too corroded to be uh, put back in again. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you next time.